on many of their things. If you don't have all these approvals and you find any legality, if you find any person doing anything there, please, respectfully, it is illegal mining. And normally two things happen. It could happen that some of those people there are the people involved. And then there are also record, Chair, that there have been instances where somebody has obtained a lease, he's going through the other processes to acquire the other rights for him to be compliant and even start anything where some people have entered. So there have been instances, a lot of them, where people who are not connected to their companies, because if you find illegality here, it is very easy to say that Martin is in mining enterprise, is the one that has a license, so he's the one involved. There are instances where some of them have been doing that. And there are instances to where the people who are involved there are not the people who did that. Somebody else invaded because perhaps he thought there is gold there. So even in the forestry thing, there are two things happening there. Where he has not obtained all his rights and he entered. That's Galamsi or illegal mining. Or where he's waiting to get all his rights, some people entered that are not traced to him. I mean, there are reports like that and forestry too has come out. So it is very easy to blame, let's say, Martin is mining company because in the Cadessa, he has a license, but he was not responsible. And there have been instances to where people have also entered that are linked to that company. So that is what happens. So anybody, let me repeat, Honorable Okujeto, chair of this committee, anybody who has not got all these rights, even if you are forcing anti permit, you have your offset arrangement, you have your mining area, you have the license, it has been ratified, you don't have EPA. If you do anything, it's illegal mining. We need to understand all these things carefully. So that is my answer to the other one. And then, Honorable Dafia Mopo, the other one that you said, the designated areas have been there since Professor Kilakba, 1986. And that is where our problem started from. He said it together with Kofi Ansa, these five regions in Ghana that have barely 500,000 people, now going forward since 89, give money to geological survey and do geological investigation, or else we'll wake up to the problem that we are seeing now. Nobody paid the heat. From five regions, now we are starting with 13 regions. And then the other aspect is that it's technology that has changing everything. Now, gold price is also accounting for the recent surge. Why gold price are the highest in record history? So, Chair, Diomwe Tukunu, let me say that in three. Areas where even people have done Galamsey two, three years ago, they have gone back, they are now washing. Because last year the price was like 1,000, 8,000, 8,000, I'm talking about 2,6, it's heading to 2,7. So even people are even going back to abandoned areas. And then uh, he said something, perhaps I gave an example, maybe he didn't get beat. We have started something barely two, three years now. Bonfa block, Dunkwa block and Newtown, not Accra, Newtown. There's a place in Western region called Newtown. These are areas where Parliament has approved for us. Uh, at Honorable Atatia and their committee until they split recently. We are piloting. UMAT is doing some. Uh, geological Survey is doing some. The results are looking encouraging. Some in the next six months, one year, we'll give it out. If we have been doing this since 1986, 1989, we'll not be where we are now. And trust me, until we do more of this, the problem will not go away. The solution to illegal mining is pouring millions of dollars into geological surveys because they are the government explorer to do all these blocks. The block out areas are there, there are over 20,000 all over Ghana. They do the exploration and then we give it up. Other than that, that fourth thing that I said is what we are doing now. So say, you see, do you have an idea how much we will need for that? If you geological ask me, survey? Even, even if you ask me, anything around ten million dollars, you know, and the money you have to begin every year. We can even start with five million dollars. See the equivalent of five million dollars. Ten million dollars, even if you use sixteen, that's how much? One sixty million. Did I get it right? Yeah, even 100 million to geological survey. Because they have the equipment. They've gotten a new rig now. They have the equipment. And they are not the only people who can do it, apart from geological survey, which is the government explorer. And because of the sheer numbers involved, we are no longer talking about five regions. We are talking about 13. Even my own OT, we are beginning to see gold now. 
I was home just this weekend to celebrate the young festival because I'm the chief of Rara. We don't have a primary chief, so as continue, you are in charge. And people are saying, oh, Nana, there's good all over this place. My grandfather used to tell me, and my late father. And so, I said, so, 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 Nana, just, so, for, so just, my just first, for... So my first point, radical... Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll come to your point. Mm -hmm. Just for our record, you keep mm -hmm. talking about the 13 regions, 13 mm -hmm. regions. Mm -hmm. we, we need to know for our record. Uh, what are the three regions that are out? Greater Accra. Greater Accra. Greater even Accra. though some mining takes place, we call quarries are considered mining. And then the two regions where I come from, Volta and Oloti. Okay. Yes, I'm talking about gold. Because okay. that's a fundamental okay. issue. So these are the only three these regions? These are the other and that, the others, okay. it's all over the place. Okay. Yes. And the radical solution is to embark on aggressive geological investigation. Don't just rely on geological survey. There are several Ghanaian geologists who are registered to provide exploration services with Minerals Commission. Westfield, uh, they are all over the place. Geo mining, uh, uh, you know, they are all over the place. So we can just give some of the mining to uh, money to geological survey, some to geo me, and all these private people to do it. Trust me, if you release a lot of money now, in the next six months, you start seeing areas that we can be licensing. Because what is causing the haphazard digging? Try your error. You dig everywhere. So for me, that's number one. We have to start it now aggressively. I'm saying government has released some funds to us for Bonfa, Dunkwa, and Newtown. Newtown as in Western Region. These are being done by Geological Survey and UMAT. So the, the solution now is to release money aggressively to private people, exploration companies, the universities and geological survey, they go out there and all the areas we've designated already, I already know, they start exploring. Six but, months, but, you start seeing the, results. The chairman, just uh, forgive me, I didn't intend to come in at this point, but with your permission. Um, Mr. Isis said earlier that the geological survey already has a rig yes, and that it will not cost that much because of the availability of the rig if we were to invest in the geological survey. But then in the subsequent submissions, mm -hmm. you are suggesting private you know, geological surveyors. I don't get that you know, um, drift. The state, the state if the state has capacity, why have you all of a sudden, in the same breath, you know, uh, bringing in private developers. Private developers who, by the way, uh, in some cases are even responsible for these troubles that we have. Uh, let me explain. In a summary, and then the question he posed, basically speaking in the minds of 35 million, he said, radical solution. Geological survey has expertise, but in the situation, honorable senior, that we find ourselves to the chair, they can't cover the whole country within this short time for us to start releasing the blocks to these millions of people who want to work lawfully. They cannot. They have, they have the, let me explain, please, respectfully. They have the expertise, they have the rig, but I'm talking over several 20,000 plus square areas designated by Mincom. They cannot cover 13 regions within a short time for us to start releasing blocks for them. So I'm saying that whilst they may be investigating the place all over the areas eh, as a radical approach to free up more areas so that results can come out quickly. Let's also bring in this seasoned Ghanaian geologists who have, you know, registered with MINCOM to also explore the other areas. Because geological survey cannot cover all the seasoned regions within a short time, unless you want to say uh, 5, 10, 15 years. But we are seeing radical solution. So they can say, okay, we're going to do part of Ashanti we're going to do eastern region. We're going to do this thing. Within six months or one year, we can come out with some deposit that we can give it out to these cooperatives and small-scale miners. But if we want it quickly, we need to bring in other people to come and help. 